Hello and welcome back to another episode of Measurement in a Minute. I'm your host, Justin Kozak with Lakeside Process Controls. And in today's video, we're continuing our discussion around Rosemont Micromotion Flow Meter Technologies. In particular, we're talking through some of the limitations of a Coriolis Flow Meter. Now, I want to preface this by saying we absolutely love this technology. There are a ton of great applications, but there are a few specific things that we should consider before we suggest one in your application. And the first piece is permanent pressure loss. And the reason for this is by comparison to other technologies like magnetic flow meters, for instance, it's gonna be on the upper end of things. And it makes sense intuitively because it splits the flow into two tubes and those two tubes travel up and then back down and then come back and meet once again. So it just makes sense that that's gonna obviously add some overall pressure drop to the system. Um, depending on your application, depending on the sensor size, it could be upwards of say 50%, but that would be a very extreme case. In most instances, we try to minimize this, keep it around maybe 10 to 15%, um, but it depends really on your application. Next piece is they are not intended for slurry applications. Now this all depends on what your definition of slurry is. What I think of is slurries in mining and pulp and paper applications where maybe you have 60, 70% concentration of solids. Uh, and when you have the much, much lower end of things, typically in other industries, they have been used in what would you call a slurry application, but that is not the intent. This kind of bleeds into the next point. Coriolis flow meters and really most flow meters in general are intended for single phase applications. So when you have two phase flow, such as a liquid with solids or such as a liquid with gases, that's not the optimal situation. We wanna keep things single phase. I will say with our Coriolis flow meter, we do have a unique solution that I'll talk about in a few videos to handle up to 10, 15% in trained air, uh, but that is a separate topic altogether. And then the last piece is it's not there's not options for above 12 inches and, and really anything above four inches becomes cost preventative. Um, so that is definitely a limitation if you would like to utilize one of these on a larger line size. And that's it. We love Coriolis flow meter technology, but there are definitely some things to consider when implementing them. Should you have any questions about Micromotion or Rose Mount flow meters or any other of our products, please reach out to us at www.lakesidecontrols.com. Thanks and have a great day.